and welcome to another Movie Magic Budgeting Tips and Tricks. I'm your host Stephen Kinchelik, and in this video I'm going to be going over classic file conversion. Now many of you out there are in the situation where you're starting a new project, and to get a jump start on that you're going to open a classic Movie Magic Budget or classic template into Movie Magic Budgeting 7. And that may work fine for a while, but you may notice some odd behavior or some errors due to some latent corruption that came over with the classic file. Well, to avoid that, I'm going to show you a method of converting that file into a Movie Magic Budgeting 7 file that's a little bit cleaner and better for you going forward. Let me show you how to do it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open up a classic budget. Now, this method will work with templates also, but since most people work with a budget, open up an old budget and then transfer that over to Movie Magic Budgeting 7, I thought this might be a better example. So I'm going to go up to File, Open File. And I'm going to select uh, my classic movie magic budgeting file that I have here. Now, if you're on Windows and you don't see any of your classic files, uh, make sure that the file type drop down down at the bottom of the window uh, has movie magic budgeting classic um, files in the file type. And you'll see those. So once that's selected, I'm going to click open. And it opens up my classic file here. Now, again, this may look fine and may even work fine for a little bit, but what we're trying to do is get rid of any latent corruption that may still be in the file. So I'm going to go up to File, Create Blank Budget. I'm going to bring this over here side by side so it's a little bit easier to see. And I'm going to go back to my classic budget here, and I'm going to select everything by clicking in the upper left-hand corner. And I'm going to copy it by hitting Command C. That's Control C on Windows. I'm going to come over here to my new budget, and I'm going to hit Command V or Control V to paste on Windows, and it pastes everything over. Now, one thing to notice: the grand total right here is a little bit off versus our original budget. Uh, that's just because we have to do a data recalculate first. So I'm going to go up to Data, Recalculate. And now the budget totals are the same. Now, you still may have a little bit of a different budget total uh, depending on your situation. And that may be because that the fringes are posted a little bit different. Uh, notice that I've got the total fringes uh, at the budget level over here and over here. Uh, they're actually posted by account. So uh, in my new budget, I'm going to go up to Setup. Budget Preferences, and make sure that I'm posting the fringes the same way I had it in the original. Now, I happen to know that they were by account. You may have to check in your original budget. I'm going to select Account and click OK. And that, if there were any other discrepancies, that may clean up any of the discrepancies between the totals. So once that's done, you're pretty much done. You can go ahead and save this by going to File, Save, or Save As and you've got your new budget to work from and that should be a little bit cleaner now uh, one thing you may notice is if you go up to setup globals the globals are in one order here and if I click on my original budget they're in a completely different order and this may be an order that I really want well let me show you how to redo that method and keep the order of your globals because uh, when you're pasting it populates the globals table by how it uh, globals that it encounters within the budget which may be different than how you set them up so I'm gonna close this window I'm gonna go ahead and close this new budget and I'm not gonna save it we're gonna repeat the process so with your classic budget uh, open I'm gonna again go up to file create blank budget and I'm gonna move that over here I'm going to click on my original budget here, and I'm going to go up to Setup, Globals, or Command G. And I'm going to select this default group over here, which is the group that contains all my globals. I'm going to right click it and select Copy. Now, I'm going to come over here to my new budget. I can leave the globals window open and just click on my new budget. And it's already got a default group, so I need to rename that or else it's going to say that you can't paste a group with the same name. So I just double-clicked on that group, and it brings this dialog up. I'm going to rename this old. Click OK. And I'm going to come over here to the global group name area and right-click and select Paste. And it pasted that uh, original default group, and they're in the order that I want them. So now, with globals pasted, 
I'm going to come over here to, I can close this window actually. And I'm going to come over here to my original file. And with everything selected by clicking that upper left hand corner, I'm going to hit Command C, Control C on Windows to copy. And come over here to my new budget. And Command V, Control V on Windows to paste. And again, I have to go up to Data, Recalculate to make sure that's the same, and set up budget preferences, and make sure that my post fringes by is the same as the original, which in my case is by account, and click OK. So now with that all done, I'm going to hit Command G to bring up that globals window, and notice as I switch between the two budgets, the globals are in the same order. So if I really want to keep that order, that's the method that I have to do to keep them. So hopefully that will give you a fresh start and a clean budget to work from going forward on your projects in the future. Now are there some topics that you want covered in these tips and tricks? Or do you just have some feedback for us? You can send that feedback to moviemagic at entertainmentpartners.com. Also, be sure to check entertainmentpartners.com for all our new products and services. And while you're there, check out the community section where you can find ways to follow us on Twitter, friend us on Facebook, or subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks for watching.